One of the basic figures you can draw and fill is the rounded rectangle. It's a rectangle and you position it like a rectangle, but its corners are rounded instead of square and you have to specify in your program just how much the corners are to be rounded. The draw and fill round rect methods are defined as part of the graphics object so you can use graphics 2D or just the plain graphics object as I'm doing here. This example draws three rounded rectangles in the window. Just like with a rectangle, the first two numbers specify the position of the upper left hand corner of the shape. The overall width of the rectangle is set to 250 pixels and the overall height is set to 100. These last two numbers determine the roundedness of each corner. This first number determines how far back from the corner to the left and right the curving should begin. This example will start curving 10 pixels away from the corner. This last number is the vertical curve. In this example, the curving will begin 10 pixels above or below the upcoming corner. Because these two numbers are the same, the curvature will be symmetric. This symmetric shape seems to be the most common and it is a little easier on the eyes when used in a design. The second method call draws a rectangle below the first one. In this example, the curvature in the horizontal direction begins 10 pixels away, while the vertical curvature will start 30 pixels from the corners. This rectangle is drawn at the bottom of the window. In this one, the horizontal curvature begins 50 pixels away, while the vertical curvature begins at 30. Now, here's what that looks like. Now here you can see that the appearance of the corner is symmetric. Both the vertical and horizontal curves are beginning at 10 pixels away from the corner. And this one is not symmetric. The horizontal curve still begins 10 pixels out, but the vertical curve is longer at 30 pixels. And this third rectangle has a horizontal curve of 50 pixels and a vertical curve set to 30. Now almost the same code can be used to produce a filled rounded rect. Now this code is the same as the previous example except the fill methods are called instead of the draw methods. Also a call to set color has been added so the areas are filled with magenta instead of the default black. You can see what's happening here. As the curves get longer, the more they approach an oval shape. In fact, the ovals that you can draw are about the same as a rounded rectangle with the curvature set to half the distance along a side. Take a look at this code. This top figure drawn is a simple rectangle. The bottom figure is an oval of the same dimensions. The figure in the middle is a rounded rectangle with the rounding set halfway back along the sides so the result should look like an oval. But it doesn't work out that way. As you can see, the figure in the center is not an oval, it's a rounded rectangle. This is because there is an internal limit in the rounded rectangle that disallows the curvature being extended back across half of the rectangle. It appears that this limit is about a quarter of the way across the rectangle, but it isn't documented, so it's not something you can depend on.